Hi guys, welcome back to a new episode of this uh, IoT series. So there is some construction work is going on, that's why I have to vlog like this. Uh, so let me tell you that we have already worked on the Blink mobile application and currently what I am observing this new Blink application is coming to the market and the older Blink application is not working anymore in these new phones. So that's why I just started working on this Arduino IoT cloud. This is the personal IoT cloud of Arduino. So now let's see and explore this uh, Arduino cloud and let's see how it, this is comparing to the Blink application. So we will also work on the new Blink application very soon after this uh, IoT cloud. So yeah, let's work on it. In this case, we are not going to open the Arduino IDE. We are going to work with the Google Chrome. Uh, let me open Google Chrome. And here we are going to search for Arduino IoT cloud. Okay, here it is. So this will lead us to this particular link that is uh, right here. Click on that link and it will take to the Arduino cloud website. Yeah, so here there it is. So here you have to sign in to Arduino cloud. And if you don't have an account, then you can create one using Google, Facebook or uh, all these options are there. So I already have this account. So I'm just going to sign in right here. Okay, so this is the uh, dashboard. Uh, this is not actually the dashboard. This is the home page of our uh, uh, Arduino IoT cloud so okay so here there are many options as you can see so we are going to click on here create thing okay fine so our first thing okay in this case the thing means a device or one project like uh, for example in our blink application we used to create a project under which we used to get one auth token so similarly in this case this is a kind of a page that we are creating under which we can add our variables so okay here the first thing add variable so here we are going to control our simple led so i am going to name the variable as led okay now select variable type so this is basically a kind of uh, boolean so okay here is light okay here is the light so i am going to click on light so this is already declared the led as a cloud light automatically in this uh, cloud so then there are two options read and write and read only so okay we are using two type of devices input and output so all the input devices are read only devices because they read the data for example in temperature sensor it read the temperature data and give it the uh, microcontroller similarly the output devices are read and write that means in the output devices we can write the data as well so as led is a output device so we are choosing read and write after that variable update policy that means here we are selecting that uh, we have selected on change that means whenever we we'll click on that button when the button value will change then only the uh, value of the variable led will also change now click on add variable okay so here you can see now one variable is declared as cloud light led so now we have to choose a device so for that here click on select device okay so two type of devices we can add for example these are some uh, IoT devices by Arduino and here you can see the third party devices like LoRa 1, ESP8266, ESP32 these kind of things are third party devices so now Arduino is allowing these third party devices to work with its cloud so that's a good thing about it so click on this third party device and ESP8266 as we are going to use Node MCU search here Node MCU see here Node MCU 1.02LB module this is what we are going to use now click on continue okay, device name I am going to uh, give the device name as RDC then next okay so this page will appear on your screen uh, these are some important documentations that you need to have so you can here download the PDF so that a PDF will be downloaded okay so yeah this is the PDF with all the uh, required values so here you can see uh, the device name and device ID then there is the secret key that we need uh, in future so yeah with that uh, i saved my device id and secret key okay uh, remember that the secret key cannot be recovered so you have to save it forever so that whenever you need any changes uh, you can check that okay now click on continue okay congratulations you are all set done so we have now associated one device and this is appearing right here and it is showing offline right now so we need to connect it to our network that's why i'm going to connect it to my home network so here click on configure uh, we need to give the uh, wi-fi name
after that here you have to uh, give that secret key so for that open that pdf and copy this uh, secret key and paste it right here okay now click on save with that we have uh, added our uh, uh, network configurations right here you can see after that click on this uh, sketch okay yeah so unlike other projects here we don't have to upload the code from arduino ide we can directly upload the code to our device using this cloud platform so this is the code that is the you know inbuilt code you can say that is given with uh, all the parameters given by us in the previous uh, setup part so our wi-fi name password secret key all these things are already uh, uh, included in the code internally so we just have to do some changes in this code and then we can upload it okay so here click on open full editor okay so this page will open up the arduino cloud uh, platform that is arduino cloud ide we can say so here you can see that all this code available as well as here are some examples the built-in examples that are available we can also access to them okay then there are all these libraries are already available here we don't have to download any library all the li library that we need are already included in this part so and this is the monitor okay so the serial monitor value we can see it right here okay uh, see now it is showing wi-fi status esp rdc lab failed failed because we have not uploaded the code yet okay now okay go to the sketchbook and this is our code that is available okay in the previous page we saw this one actually so we need to do a little changes okay the code is very simple and similar to our normal arduino code so here it included the things properties dot s library okay in this uh, properties dot s library you can click right here and you can see uh, it is including arduino iot cloud dot s connection handler dot s ssid password device key all these things are already included in here okay and okay this is the ssid password and secret key uh, this is some personal data that we can also check but this is the main code we can say and we need to do a little bit of change okay not much so this is a piece of code that i am adding right here yeah so in the void loop part it is showing arduino cloud dot update that means it will automatically update the pin which we are declared in this section so here on void on led change here i have written a code that if led equal to equal to one that means digital right too high that means gpio 2 pin will be high whenever the led will be one that means the button will be pressed and the led will glow else the uh, reverse of it will happen okay so now go to void setup part and here we need to declare the pin so two comma output uh, semicolon okay so now this is done now to upload the code we need one small application to be installed in our uh, laptop so here you can see arduino create agent okay you can see that so this is the application we need to install in our laptop so whenever we need to upload the code to our board we will upload the code through this plug application so just uh, install that application and automatically here you can see that uh, arduino create agent is uh, working in the background see here it is i'm right clicking on it and you can see here uh, pause agent quit quit agent these kind of options are coming so right now the agent is running so now go to here and you can choose your board and com port right here after that click on this upload button okay so similarly just like our arduino iot sorry arduino ide here also it will first compile your sketch and if there is no error then only the code will be uploaded to your board that success uh, saved on your uh, flush complete that means our code is now uploaded to this uh, uh, node mcu so okay now go to the previous page uh, here and now okay so this part is now complete okay the code is uploaded uh, let me refresh this once i have changed the code but it is showing the older code so i'm going to re uh, refresh the page 
yeah so the code is now updated here also now uh, we need to go to this dashboards currently it is empty so now we are going to click on build dashboard okay so first of all let me name it as uh, home okay uh, after that click on add so we are going to control the led using a switch so we are simply adding a switch ah, so this page will appear so now uh, name of the switch is switch and then link variable okay so here we are going to add a variable the led variable we are adding here uh, here it is showing the th things about led now link variable yeah now it is added click on done after that here you can click okay so now it is supposed to work now let's set up the mobile dashboard let's check with the mobile dashboard i will tell you about it so now we are going to check how it is actually working so uh, let me place this node mcu right here okay so okay so this is our uh, web uh, home page and as you can see right here when i am clicking on the, our thing here you can see it is showing uh, online that means this device is online now so now we need to go to our uh, mobile phone and as you can see right here um, this application this is called Arduino IoT Cloud Remote so we have to install this application then you can open it and here you can see our uh, you have to log into this mobile application uh, with the same ID password that we created in this uh, dashboard so after that uh, go to dashboards right here and here you can see the home dashboard which we have already created and in our mobile application is also you can see the same home dashboard so can i place it yeah so now clicking on this home uh, our web dashboard is appearing right here as a button and at the same time i'm clicking on here okay so here also the button is appearing uh, let me take a closer look so this is our little setup in a small space so okay as you can see right now this red led is off as well as the switch is off so when i am clicking on this web dashboard and yeah so this is on as well as this is also on the red led is glowing and at the uh, meanwhile this uh, dashboard value on this uh, mobile also changing also i am watching some delay okay let's try from the mobile okay clicking on here see at the same time the red LED is off but after some delay the switch on the dashboard is changing uh, there is some amount some seconds of delay but this is not reflecting on our device so when I'm clicking on the device is working at the same time there is a delay in the connection between the communication between the wave and mobile dashboard so I don't think that's a very big issue so yeah, so that's how it is working similarly we can add some other parameters like you know temperature humidity you know depending upon our sensor we can add some other parameters to this iot cloud that's all about this or uh, not all about it this is an introductory video about this adding iot cloud and we are going to work more on it very soon so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to click on that like button share it with your friends and if you have any comments or doubts you can write down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that whenever i will upload a new video you can get the instant notification so see you in the next one till then be cool work smart